Maddie and today I'm going to show you my night routine because so many of you guys have asked in my other vlog videos and routines that you'd love to see me do a night routine. So that's what I'm doing today and thank you so much for all of your nice and sweet comments. Well let's get into the video. previous vlog I have danced four times a week I did have dance today but I did have girls group so what girls group is it's an after-school program so we get snacks and then our teacher gets right into teaching us and sometimes we'll play games we'll sometimes have group discussions and most of the time we'll do fun crafts so what we did today is we made a magic eight ball and it's made out of like a glass jar that's covered in tape and my taping skills aren't the best but it's good enough for me and then there's a styrofoam ball inside so you can see the styrofoam ball in there and all of the glitter I added so we shake it up and then we see which emoji we get so there's a whole bunch of different emoji stickers we added so these are some of the ones I picked so here's the key for what my emojis mean we have yes or happy laughing we have sweating, crying, or laughing. <laughs> I don't know why I added sweating, but crying, no or mad, to celebrate or congrats. And then I put my name and a whole bunch of decorations at the bottom and then I colored in the top. Let me show you guys how it works. So it's basically like a magic eight ball where you ask a question and then you see what it says. Hmm. Okay, I got one. My mom said, Will my crush talk to me? I'm like, well, I don't really have a crush. So I decided to ask, do I have a crush? Okay, do I have a crush? Crying. What does that mean? <laughs> I guess that's a maybe? Let me try again and see if we get maybe a yes or no. I got celebrator congrats. <laughs> One more try. Do I have a crush? Sweating, crying, or laughing? What? I'm getting all the bad ones. First, I got celebrator congrats, crying, sweating, crying, or laughing. I don't know how any of those relate. Okay. Fourth time the charm, I guess, even though it's supposed to be three. We're making it four. Do I have a crush? No! It's a yes. Okay, maybe I do have a very small crush. <laughs> so, it's not lying. <laughs> So before I would watch YouTube or play Sims, I do have some responsibilities. I have to do reading. If I have homework, I have to do that. And I have to study for my spelling bee. So I'm gonna start with my POW, which is my homework. It's the problem of the week. So we have to solve our problem of the week. And then we hand it into the teacher and then she marks it. And I was so happy because my friend told me don't tell the teacher we haven't did it for three months so i'm like omg that's right i totally forgot that we even had pow so we've all been really excited that our teacher forgot about for so long because we kind of had a break from homework but then today a student told the teacher and then the teacher said even though that the student told her she already knew so um <laughs> i'm not too happy about that because i now have homework but the good thing is is she had us work on it during math time. So I already got one of my questions done, so I only have two more. My spelling bee is a whole bunch of different words from primer to grade eight. And we have to practice all the words until we can spell pretty much all of them correct. And then I finally have my book that I got from library. It's The Babysitter's Club. And I've been reading this one for a little while because we need to read a book every day because then we show our teacher how many times we've read and then we get like an eraser for school. So that's really cool. And I actually really love this book. And unfortunately, they didn't have the first one. So I had to get 
the fifth book, but that's okay. It's still a really great book. All right, well, I've got to finish my pow, and then I have to study for my spelling bee. All right, I'm done. So now I'm going to do my spelling bee words. So it goes from primer all the way up to grade eight, but I'm, I think I might have my mom give me to grade four, and I'll see if I can maybe try grade five and grade six. And maybe if I'm really good on grade five and grade six, I can try grade seven and grade eight. Leave me a comment down below if any of you guys have a spelling bee and if you've entered before. And I actually entered one last year and the silly thing is I got out on the word yellow. I spelt it Y-E-L-L-O-Y. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. It's correctly spelt Y-E-L-L-O-W. Whoopsie, I guess I was thinking of the Y in the front. Although I got all the other words right before that, but when it came to yellow, I just, you know, it just passed my mind. And a lot of you guys have been asking like how old I am and what grade I'm in. I'm in grade four and I'm nine years old. So I should know all of these up to grade four. If I don't, um, I don't know what's going on with my spelling. So how my school decides on who participates in the spelling bee is all of the teachers, they grab all of the students who would like to participate. And what we do for my class is all the students that would like to do it, we all sit down and have a whiteboard. And then our teacher just gives us random words and then we have to spell them. And if we get it correct, we get a point. So the top two spellers who get the most points go on to the spelling bee. So fingers crossed, I hopefully am one of the top spellers this year. And if I'm not, that's okay because as long as I'm still trying to spell my very hardest for trickier words, that's all that matters to me. I don't need to prove myself of being a great speller by doing a spelling bee. It's just kind of a fun activity. All right, time to get started. Please. P-L-E-A-S-E. -E. Every. E-V-E-R-Y, every. Because. B-E-C-A-U-S-E, -E. because. Quickly before we move on to grade three, how I learned that was in grade two, baby eats candy apples until she explodes that's how my teacher taught it to us so that's how i've kind of remembered so i've been a top speller of that word together t-o-g-e-t-h-e-r together i'm up to grade four my great let's hope i get it right okay so grade four is background B A C K G R O U N D. Background. Okay, you want to try grade five? <laughs> yes. Okay, so grade five is, oh, here's a good one. Heart throb. What? What? H E A R T T H R O B E. Heart throb. No E. That'd be heart throb. <laughs> It sounds like heart robe. <laughs> um, I'll try a different word for grade five. Uh, okay, Fortnite. Oh. <laughs> F-O-R-T-N-I-G-H-T, Fortnite. <laughs> I know that one because everyone looked at it and they're like, it's Fortnite. Okay, so grade six word is Healthy. H-E-A-L-T-H-Y, healthy. Grade seven word. Oh no. <laughs> Misinterpret. Um, M-I-S-S-I-N-T-E-R-U-P-E-T. -E Good try, but no. Do you wanna try a grade eight word just to try it? Sure. Okay. Uh, grade eight. Yeti? Yes, that's on there, <laughs> Yeti. <laughs> But anyways, you must have looked at that. Grade eight word is magnificently. M-A-G-I-F-I-L-I-H-A-P-Y. Well, I mean, at least I got to grade six. I didn't get a grade 
seven or eight word, but that's okay. I just gotta keep working. I mean, at least I got a grade six word. That's pretty good. So now that I'm done with my homework and studying for the spelling bee, I'd usually read, but um, since I had homework, I'm going to skip reading tonight. So tomorrow I'll have to make sure that I read. All right, time to go get my pages on and then I'll show you what else I do to get ready for bed. All right, I've got my PJs on, I've got my long sleeve shirt on, and it's super cozy, and it's my favorite because it has raspberry on it, and then I have some super cozy pants. And I'm wearing these red Ingenation socks that don't even match my outfit, but they're still pretty comfy. So there's three things that I need to do before I can go to bed. Do my water pick, brush my teeth, and then wash my face. So I'm gonna start with doing my water pick, but first I need to tie back my hair and then put like um, a headband over my bangs, otherwise my bangs will just like go flopping into my face. And I don't know if some of you guys have a water pick, but it gets everywhere, like it will splash up and your hair, if it's longer, when you lean down, since it's so messy, your hair just like flops in front of your face. So then your hair ends up getting wet. So I don't want my hair to get wet. And this is why you can see that I need the headband because even though I can try and get these back, they won't stay because they're so short. All right, now I'm ready to do my water pick. So here's my water pick. So water goes in this top piece and then it comes out this little tube. It actually came with a whole bunch of stickers to decorate. So I put all these stickers here and then I even decorated the back. And this only goes in one way because if you see this round piece and down here they both connect so if i try to put it in like this it doesn't work because it doesn't fit in so it only goes in one way i originally got my water pick when i had my braces because it helps with flossing and it's even better than using like a flossing tool so if you guys have braces i recommend you get a water pick because it helps so much and there's no need to get rid of it once you get your braces off because it still cleans your teeth 100% like good. Because I remember one night my teeth were looking all yellow and grimy and they just traced around my teeth and then my teeth looked so white and sparkly. It was amazing. So it looks kind of like this. Except there would be water coming out of it and it would be on because it doesn't do much work if it doesn't have water coming out or if it's not on because then it's not really doing its job. And then mine actually did come with two heads but I didn't use this one for my braces because this one isn't as soft so it kind of would get in the way. So when I use it, why I tied all my hair back is because I have to lean over the sink because it gets really messy and the water can kind of squirt everywhere. So let me fill it up and I'll show you how it works and how messy it can get. Although why you need it to go in is because if I touch this bottom, that's how the water comes out when you turn it on. Now I just gotta refill the little bit I spilled out. And one thing about the water pick is it does have settings. It goes to three, and right now I'm still on one because two and three are too rough for me. All right, let's go. All right, and I'm all done, and my face is pretty wet. There we go, that's better. And it's best if you are going to do your water pick and then brush your teeth, because then if you do your water pick after, it's gonna wash off all of your toothpaste. And you don't want that. All right, next thing I do is I brush my teeth. And most of you probably remember my toothbrush as it's an electric one from my morning routine. And if you haven't seen
seen it, make sure you go watch it. I had such a fun time doing it. What? Time for the bar. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got my washcloth and I'm gonna put some warm water on it because I don't want my face to be freezing. All right, so here it is and it's feeling pretty warm. So I wash my face everywhere, including my eyelids, but I gotta be careful. Oh, I can't forget my retainer. And what I do is since my retainer is actually kind of dry, I like to put a little bit of water on it. All right, there we go. It's a little tight because I forgot to wear it last night. I bet I sound pretty silly. And since I put the water, some of the water is spraying out of my mouth. So I'm not spitting, but it's the water from my retainer. All right, I'm all ready for bed. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys that I've recently made a new friend. So a big shout out to Rylan. And he's also a fantastic soccer player. I've seen two of his games and he won both of them. And I'm really excited to see more of your games in the future, Rylan. Keep up your good work. So moving on to what the rest of I do for bed is me and my mom will talk about highs and lows. So what highs and lows are is I will say the thing that made me really happy, so that's a high. And the low is a thing that didn't make me too happy. And today I actually have two highs and one low. So I'm gonna start with my low. So you know how you kind of have those people at school that you just don't really get along with? So there's this one person in my class, I don't get along with them at all. And they've always just kind of been not the nicest to me and I always let get the best of me and then I lash back out at them, which is a horrible thing to do because then I'm being the mean back to them. So today they said something and it upset me and I'm like, you know what, I don't care what you say to me because I know it's not true. Instead of making their issue mine, I just let it go and it felt so much more like, simple instead of being all stressed like oh what do I have to say I need to lash back out it just felt so much more calm so if any of you guys have someone who you don't like that's probably a good thing to say because really they don't know you like your friends do so my high well my two highs are my best friend Mahak you might have remembered her from one of the videos I facetimed her so um, her mom sent my mom a note asking if I wanted to come have a sleepover and I said yes. So me and Mahak are both super duper excited to have a sleepover and it's on Saturday so I can't wait to have it. So I'm super happy about that and it's going to be pretty possum. The second thing that makes me really happy is if I get to bed on time, I'm allowed to watch a show. So I got to bed on time today. So my mom said I'm allowed to watch a show. So that made me really happy because I know some nights I've just had to go to bed with my sleeping mask and some music. So that's for my highs and lows. And leave me a comment down below if you guys do highs or lows before bed or what was your high this week? I'd love to hear it, so leave a comment down below. I'd like to see if yours are maybe similar to mine, like maybe you're going to just sleep over with the friends. Bye guys, see you next time. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our tree top, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like.